So uh, here I'm gonna talk about uh, demand flow rate and what that is. And of course we covered the same topic in freeway. I just wanted to have it as a refresher here. Basically demand flow rate is the input for HCM. And uh, basically that uh, represent number of vehicles that they want to get served. Maybe they get served, maybe not. We don't know. It depends on the capacity. But basically what we want to know is demand is number of vehicles that they want to get served. And of course, you know, those ones that they get served, we call them volume served. So how we can uh, try to uh, visualize that for a signalized intersection. Basically, you know, if this is our subject signalized intersection on the left side, if I put a sensor on the stop bar, whatever it records, that's gonna be volume served. That's not gonna be demand because you know that's gonna be number of vehicles that they get served. Of course, you know, if demand is lower than capacity, volume served and demand are gonna be equal. But if I put a sensor there, it's not going to be always demand that is going to be reporting. In order to get report, in order to get demand, we need to go upstream, where we are not basically getting influenced by queuing of the subject signal as intersection, and see, you know, what are the movements that they come into this urban street link and get into downstream basically subject signal as intersection, sum them up. And that's going to represent our demand. So all these basically movements that you see here in red, basically, you know, that's going to uh, represent our demand. And whatever gets served and departs from subject intersection, that's going to be representing our volume set. Here I have another example, just so that we make sure everybody understands. Uh, I have a, a signalized intersection, and then on the stop bar, I have a sensor that tells me, you know, for every 15 minute analysis period, how many vehicles pass our uh, signalized intersection. Uh, it reports a number like 300, 400, 500. Then we have some means of seeing, you know, how, mu how much Q we are having in this signalized intersection at the end of if each 15 minute period. With that, we can basically, you know, try to estimate our demand. So in the first 15 minute analysis, analysis period, we see that 300 vehicles are departing from stop bar and no vehicle is queued up at the end of first 15 minutes. That means that basically, you know, we don't have unserved vehicles, all the demand that they came in, they got served. That's why we say, okay, our demand is 300 as well. The same way, Demand for second analysis period is 400. Now, in the third analysis period from 430 to 445, we see that we have 500 vehicles past the stop bar, but 25 vehicles got uh, queued up, and these are unserved vehicles. This means that we had a demand of 525, that 500 of that got served. Capacity is 500, so that's another thing that you know we can drive from these these numbers that we are getting. And then, but demand was 20, 500 plus 25, 525. So at this point, we see demand is higher than basically uh, capacity and demand is higher than volume served. Now let's take a look into this, you know, analysis period from 545 to six. We see again, you know, our sensor at the stop bar is telling us that 500 vehicle they 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 got they got served. They were able to get served, and then Q length is three hundred. But in the previous analysis period, Q was three twenty five. So Q has shrunk for twenty five vehicles. That means that we were able to serve twenty five vehicles from this Q. So out of five hundred vehicles that they got served, twenty five of them got served from Q. That means that our demand was 475, that all the demand got served, but also 25 vehicles from Q got served as well. So this is a scenario where demand is less than uh, volume served. So again, this was an illustrative example that I wanted to make sure that everybody understand what's the relationship between, you know, uh, volume served, unserved vehicle, as well as demand.